Yeah, hi, I'm Naomi Schlesinger from uh, Rutgers Robert Johnson Medical School in New Jersey. Uh, this is a study looking at erectile dysfunction in gout patients. Initially, we studied uh, gout in my clinic, and 76% of uh, patients with gout had erectile dysfunction. So I wanted to do a study looking at a large database, and we used the FIN database from the UK. And uh, almost 40,000 gout patients, uh, we looked at whether they had erectile dysfunction, and um, was it different than the general population? And in fact, we found again that uh, erectile dysfunction was much more common in gout patients, more so in patients that were on anti-gout medications. This is after we adjusted and did multivariate analysis uh, for comorbidities and so on, so that we know that it is gout that is the cause of the erectile dysfunction. Why is this so important? Uh, penile arteries are two to three millimeters. Uh, they're much smaller than the coronaries. Um, so if you have endothelial um, dysfunction and atherosclerosis, you'll first see it in the penile arteries, hence erectile dysfunction, and only then will you see it in the coronaries. Many patients, uh, up to half of patients, actually that have erectile dysfunction also have heart disease and are cardiovascular patients. So any patient that has erectile dysfunction suspect that has coronary artery disease. Thank you.